So the episode began with Trina Braxton cooking breakfast and she's cooking this heavy ass shit. It's very, it looks like tomato paste, garlic, onions, bell pepper. I don't know what she was, you know, cooking, but you know, she ended up wrapping it all in a um, soft taco shell and, you know, ate it like a um, tortilla moment or something. So, um, every Tawanda walks in and she was like, what you doing? What the hell are you doing? You cooking all this? And of course, Trina, she has to have a drink for everything because it's just Trina Braxton. Um, Tawanda and Tracy are just looking at Trina like she's crazy. So am I. But hey, she's a party girl. She's she's that sister. So there. There you go. Um, Trina also tells the girls, she's like, you know what, y'all? Um, this is also my house. This is my house. And I want to have like a block party like just have a big party here because we're here and you know i just want everybody in my house and just to know and tawanda and tracy was like what no bitch we just got here she's rented boots we're not gonna fuck this house up what do you mean ma'am and she's very much like no because you know it's for the bar chicks you know we can like open like the doors or whatever we can open the doors and we can let everybody in and you know everybody can just enjoy the house the same way that we all enjoy the house and it'll just be over there and everything i was like no tawanda was very much like look we can be um this look we can have a housewarming party that's what we're gonna have and you can maybe have your bar chicks moment there um trina likes to do shit on her own which is fine. Everybody's grown. But when you share stuff with people, you have to consider them. Um, and we're going to get a little bit on that a little bit later. She's she's very inconsiderate. Like, I get it. But if, if there's rules and shit set in place, you should go by them. Like, if this was just your own spot, do what the hell you want to do. But it's not. So, anyway. Um, moving on to Tamar, she is she wants to audition females, as we all as we learned, um, she wants female dancers. Now she's sick of male dancers, you know, because how male dancers gonna pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it to you know tiptoe. How how is men gonna tiptoe? You know, so Terrell, her creative director and I believe makeup artist, he is very much against it. He was like, look, you need to stick with men and everything. And um, last episode, or the episode before that, um, Tamar auditioned some female dancers um, where she lives, which is L.A. And she was like, you know what, I think I very much, she's talking to her team, and she very much feels like um, that she wants to audition some girls in Atlanta. Because the L.A. girls are bougie, they can't do this, they can't do that, they can't have this, and it's just like, ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I am the star, these girls gotta be a certain way. And it's just, these girls in L.A., like, they too demanding, they ain't got no visa cards, and some of them might be cuter than me! And, you know, Tamar's not going to have that. It's her show. It's her rules. So, um, Mommy, um, for God's sakes, brings um, the brother, Mikey, Michael. Michael Jr. there. They're all excited. It's always nice to see Michael. He seems like a very chill, very low-key guy. You know, he just sits back and just let his crazy sisters be them. And like I get it because I had a friend, I had some friends um, back when I was younger who was females, and they and it was five girls, and they had one brother, and he was so quiet and and just so chill, and all them girls was just batshit crazy. Not saying that the Braxtons are totally batshit crazy, but you know what I mean. Examples, darling, examples. Go with me, me and my um, Michael Senior hat. Go with me, and my Logan hat. Adorable. Um, so. You know, this is a very musical family. Apparently, Michael used to help them when they were singing and everything. He used to be like a little choir director, similar to the mommy. And um, it was very cute seeing all the girls and Michael go to the piano. Michael asked, can I be in the group? They was like, hell no, you can't be in the group. Uh, they don't even want Mama Braxton in the group. No tea, no shade. Or maybe it's all tea and all shade. So they get over there. And um, they start singing some song. 
and they sound lovely. Of course, I love hearing them sing together. And uh, when it gets to Tony part, she very much acts like she don't want to sing it. But she's claiming that she just don't remember her part in her words. How come all your little sisters remember the song that they sung for years, but your ass don't remember it? And I'm sure you've been singing it way before they were singing it. Mm, a little slight, a little slight mystery on Miss Tony's part. We'll say that. Um, she was like, "Look, Tamar, I don't remember. Beat me, stab me, hold me down." Tony, I don't remember. I don't remember my lyrics. I don't. And that's just what it is. Tamar, use a lie. Just keep it real. Because Tony Braxton just don't want to sing with us. She just don't want to sing with her sisters. And that's just what it is. She just don't. I actually slightly agree with that. Tony, you know you remember that damn song. Tony, you know, I'm just trying to make it more current. I'm just trying to make it more, you know, 2014. Okay, well, Mama Braxton and Mikey just simply wanted to hear y'all sing the song that y'all have always wanted to sing. The song that y'all have, one of the songs that y'all have always sung growing up. So why would you change it, Tony Braxton? Why is she so difficult moments? Tony, that superstar, I'm telling you. So, um, Tawanda Trino, Tracy, they playing cards, and then all of a sudden, who knocks on the door? Lucky, lucky, there's the cookie. It's Gabe. Now, we found out that Trina asked um, a couple of episodes. Well, actually, it was probably the last episode where she was talking um, to Gabe on the phone. And she was very much like, you know what, Gabe, this is my house. And um, I think I'm going to invite you down here because we need to work on our, our, our relationship. So this is the place where you want to work out your relationship at the house where your other two sisters live with you. And they very much don't feature gay, but none of the sisters really. This way, and because and she's like, oh, we haven't spent that much time together. We're working on our marriage. We just got back together. We just moved back in. Okay, well, y'all do that shit in Atlanta. We are here in L.A. working on this album. Like, it's so many distractions, and there's so many things going on already. And you're going to bring your husband here? <clears throat> like, how is he contributing to the album in any type of way? Oh, well, you know, y'all, I brought him here because we're gonna working on the bar chicks and everything. You know, we're going to open all the doors. And, oh, Trina. Oh, girl. I was just like, I can't. Just, you know, that they was going to flip. Tracy went off. Tawanda wasn't featuring it. It was just a mess. So it's dinner time, y'all. And, you know, they all have dinner. Um, the daddy shows up, um, sitting around. Very cute moment. Um, everybody was singing ABC to Logan. He's adorable. He looks just like Vince. He looks a little bit like Tamar, too. And um, it was just a very sweet scene. Something went on between Tony and Tamar as to where Tamar was supposed to pick up Tony, but Tony was already there, some shit. It's just very much the battle of the two divas, y'all. That's, that's what they said, and it's true. Tawana Trina Tracy, they're sitting down, you know, just talking about the album, how frustrated they are that they done been there two, three, four four months, <laughs> two, three, four weeks, whatever. And um, they ain't really got shit done, really. And all of a sudden, Gabe walks across the damn stream with just his drawers on and a white tee and was getting ready to and open the refrigerator and was getting ready to drink out Tawanda's orange juice. You don't touch a bitch orange juice. That's not what you do, Gabe. Gabe. And um, it was just funny. Tracy was just like, I'll be hot dick damn or something she said. <laughs> and so um, it was just like, oh. It was just bad taste. No, darling, no. You don't pay for anything in this refrigerator. Like, no. Like I said, it's, Tawanda should have discussed this with her sisters. But I think, I mean, Trina should have discussed this with her sisters. But maybe she likes to see her sisters get all in arms about shit. I don't know. Some people enjoy watching other people sweat and shit. I don't know if she's like that. But shit, who knows? Gay very much sits down, you know, balls and no ass on the couch. And so what's going on with the album? They like, nigga, child puppy bye. 
go on back there and put on some damn pants. So he go back there and put on some pants. And they just very much is just over it. They kissing and licking and all that shit. Just Trina Braxton. You could have kept that man. Y'all weren't going to stay in damn L.A. forever. I mean, really. The real tea is that you just don't want his ass to do nothing while you gone. So you brought his ass up there with you, right? So you can see what the hell he doing. Call a thing a thing. I'm just saying. And I said it. Um, okay. So, after that, what happened was, um, Trina Trace and Tawanda, they meet up for lunch. Trina arrives late. Apparently, her two sons, who is 16 and 19, I believe, um, they're not getting along, as teenagers don't get along, especially when their parents aren't there. See, that's another reason why she gave should have stayed his ass in Atlanta, to watch them boys. But um, apparently they're not getting along, fighting, wrestling, whatever the hell they're doing. Trina was like, you know what, y'all? I know that we all rented this house, but I just feel like I, I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, why am I here? Why are we here? We're here to do the album, but nobody's doing the album. Like, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Like... Every, all the sisters are frustrated. They was just like, and the main issue is just with Tony and Tamar. Then they should talk to Tony and fucking Tamar because those are the main two issues. Because those are them two, Tony and Tamar, are the superstars. To be completely honest, they are the ones that have had the most success music wise, and um, probably know the most about me, the music business over the other three. And you know, they're the only two. They have put out albums and everything. So, you know, they very much need to talk to Tony and Tamar because them not getting along is a disaster for the other three. And that's just, boom. Like, you know. So, Trina, were all them frustrated. She was like, I'm just, I just feel like I'm wasting my time. Um, so, <laughs> the girls are bored as shit. So, they decide to make brownies. But with ganja butter, which is marijuana weed, darling. And um, so it was just what such a coincidence that mommy just so happened to call and be like, um, I'm coming over, for God's sakes, with Mikey because he getting ready to leave. He, you know, coming to say goodbye. Never can say goodbye. You know, they're saying goodbye. Mikey comes over. Uh, the mama, you know, she's very excited. She loved to eat sweet things. You know, I have a cousin who has diabetes, and she's you got to hide all the sweet shit, and because she will tear down the house looking for a child. And so they um, very much is a little bit like, no, don't eat that, mommy. But the real reason why they don't want her to eat the brownies is because it got weed in it, and they didn't want to tell her that, you know. And so it was a really funny scene. Mikey was like, don't tell her that it's weed in it. <laughs> you know, for her just to eat it, hell, she'll be all right. But um, they took the fork and I meant the knife or whatever away from mommy because she didn't, you know, because they didn't want her to child start acting a fool because she would have been high boots. I wonder how that tasted. Hmm, I gotta try that one day. We get to the last scene, the slumber party. It's a very cute slumber party, very funny. All the girls are, um, you know, in their little PJs. They look adorable. Whose PJs I like the best? Um, I'm trying to think what them puffers had on. I think I like Tracy's PJs the best. But um, they all sit down. They all have dares. You know, they play Truth or Dare, a similar game. And it's very much um, Tony's was either eat the mayonnaise or take two shots. She chose to eat the mayonnaise. You know, I just don't like the way um, alcohol makes me feel, you know, because I'm Tony Braxton. And I just, child, I would have took them shots instead of eating that mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise too, but just mayonnaise by itself, yucky ducky, okay? And all that fat, I can't. Um, so... After that, it was Tawanda's turn, and Tra Tamar wrote these crazy-ass dares out. And her dare was to um, go down, you know, touch her feet, go in between her toes, get all the toe jam out, 
and smell it and then you know take a strawberry with that hand that she done put all over her feet and eat it just moments and that was disgusting but um okay <laughs> and um somehow or another darlings it ended up um Trina did her dad was was twerk and so she got into her whole thing about she's not that comfortable with her body Trina's gained some weight um, and but she loves her body. She likes her body. She likes her curves. She finally has curves because if you followed them um, from the beginning or just seen old pictures of them or whatever, Trina was like the skinniest one out of all of them at one point. Especially when they was in the Braxton's group when it was just Tamar, Tawanda, and uh, Trina. So um, yeah, but she but she went on to explain that she had. Um, hernias and everything it was at the top and i believe one at the bottom of her stomach and so you know they made her stomach appear bigger and um i believe she got the hernias out but you know with that i guess she she had to take medicines or whatever but you know it caused the rest of her body to blow up and expand darling so um she got, ended up gaining a lot of weight getting thicker in the hips and Tamar was like well why you didn't get lipo and Trina was like, well, let me ask you a question. What did lipo do for you when you got it? Uh, uh. Wrong thing, wrong answer. Tamar got upset. You know what, bitch, I'm leaving. So I'm going home to my husband, okay, and my hit song, and my however many million dollar house, okay? She got all up in her feelings, and she was like, you know what? I need you the one to need fucking lipo. Like, they was really getting into it. Trina was like, did I try it? Did I try it? Trina did kind of say that in a little hmm, nudge, nudge, smart type way. But, you know, then again, Tamar takes everything to that next level. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the scene. It looks like next episode that the sisters is going to tell mommy that they're not going to do the album. I said from the very beginning, we're probably not going to get an album this season. And um, it looks like I might be right. I hope that I'm not right, though. But it looks like it. They just can't get along for five minutes. It's sad. They love each other, but they just don't like each other enough to get along all the time. Hmm. Quite sad. All that talent, right? It's just too many vaginas. It is. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Chillock. I'm Mr. Chilaki on Google Plus. Follow me. I am at Is King's World on Twitter and I am Chase King with here on Facebook. Make sure you guys share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like, comment, share, share, share. All that. Thank you for, so much for watching my review of Tony Tracy to Wonder, Trina, Tama, and Missy will teach you a thing or two. It's Braxton Family Value. Yeah.